Hi, hello, welcome back to home school. Here is your Radhika ma'am. Today I am going to continue your state level preparatory paper which is released by Karnataka State Board for the academic year 2023-24. In our first part I have completed three mains. In this second part we are going to continue your fourth main. Fourth main is answer the following questions. In this you will be having nine questions. Each carries three mark. Nine threes are 27 marks. And the numbering starts from 25. Divide P of X is equal to 3X cube plus 4X square minus 11X plus 35 by G of X is equal to X square minus 2X plus 3. And find the quotient and reminder. So polynomial P of X should be divided by G of X. You are going to find quotient and reminder. So observe the powers. Is there any power missing? 3, 2, 1, 0. No power is missing here. And here also 2, 1, 0. So this is the first step you should follow while you are doing division of polynomials. So nothing is missing. So directly we can start. Dividend first term by divisor first term. Divide separately here. 3x cube by x square x square x square cancels you are left with 3x write the 3x here 3x multiply this 3x into x square will be 3x cube minus into plus minus 3x into 2x will be 6x square plus into plus plus 3 into 3x will be 9x and now both are having same sign and same value. So subtract the two equations and change sign. 3x cube minus 3x cube will be cancelled. Plus 4x square plus 6x square will be 10x square. Minus 11x minus 9x will be minus 20x. Drag this term down plus 35. Now again same manner, dividend first term by divisor first term, 10x square by x square, if you cancel you are going to left with 10, that is plus 10. Now with 10 multiply, 10 into x square, 10x square, plus into minus, minus, 10 to 20x, plus into plus, plus, 10 3s are 30. Now observe both the polynomials are having same value and same sign. So we need to subtract the two polynomials. Multiply minus, plus into minus, minus, minus into minus it will be plus and this will be minus. Cancels and here also it cancels. 35 minus 30 will be 5. Now finally. The quotient of this polynomial division is 3x plus 10 and reminder of x is 5. That's it. And coming to another or question in this. Find a quadratic polynomial whose sum and product of its zeros are minus 3 and 2. What is given here? Sum of the zeros and product of the zeros that is sum of the zeros let the zeros be alpha and beta sum of the zeros means alpha plus beta is equal to minus 3 product of the zeros alpha beta is equal to 2 we need to find a quadratic polynomial formula is x square minus Sum of the zeros into x plus product of zeros. Now substitute these values x square minus of minus 3x plus 2. x square minus into minus plus 3 into x, 3x plus 2. This is the quadratic polynomial. And another question asked here, what is that? Find the zeros of this polynomial. Again, we need to find zeros. That means what is alpha and beta value. So just factorize this one. 2 into 1 will be 
2. So factors are 2 and 1. 2 1s are 2. 2 plus 1 will be 3. x square plus 2x plus x plus 2. Among these two x is common x plus 2 and in this one is common. Now among these two again x plus 2 is common take out. You are left with x plus 1. Therefore in order to get zeros we need to equate to 0. That is x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to minus 1. So therefore the two zeros alpha and beta are minus 2 and minus 1. 26th one, prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. This is a direct theorem from circle chapter. 27. Construct a triangle ABC with sides AC is equal to 8 centimeters. AC is equal to 8 centimeters. AB is equal to 5 centimeters. And BC is equal to 6.5 centimeters. Then construct a triangle whose sides are in the ratio 2 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. So this is a construction. So without tools I am doing roughly. You please do with your construction tools. Observe here 8 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 6.5 centimeters given. Anything you can take it as a base. Let me take AC as a base. AC. 8 centimeters. Okay, line segment 8 centimeters. Now from A as a center, 5 centimeters, draw an arc. And from C as a center, 6.5 centimeters, cut this arc. Mark this letter B and then join. Okay, and now write 6.5 centimeter, 5 centimeters. After constructing your triangle, draw a ray which is acute. Draw a ray which is acute. Observe the ratio 2 is to 3. That means which is the greater number here? 3. So take your skyver and mark 3 equal arcs. A1, A2, A3. Denominator what the number you have from that number to join C. Denominator is 3. So join A3. And next draw an arc touching the two sides. Now from the numerator 2 there you draw one arc. Go back. Measure. Cut. And then extend the line. And same manner. Draw an arc here and draw an arc here. Go back, measure, cut, join. So this is your construction. This is only a rough construction. By measurements, we have drawn ABC triangle. And another similar triangle of the ratio 2 is to 3 is AB dash C dash. Therefore, finally, triangle ABC is similar to triangle A, B dash, C dash. Write 4 to 5 lines of construction steps and the given data. It completes the problem. 28th problem. Find the mean for the following data by direct method. You can see the data table here. Class interval frequency. 2 to 6, 6 to 10, 10 to 14, 14 to 18, 18 to 22. And the frequencies are 4, 8, 2, 1, 5. Find mean for this data by direct method. In this direct method is specified. Otherwise, you can go with any of your choice method. Now, let us find mean by direct method. Mean by direct method formula mean x bar is equal to summation fi xi by summation fi this is your formula now we are going to take uh, two more columns for this one is xi and another is fi xi and here again one more 
रो ओके सो एक्स आई इज अ क्लास मार्क हाउ डू वी गेट क्लास मार्क लोअर लिमिट प्लस अपर लिमिट बाई टू टू प्लस सिक्स इज एट एट बाई टू इज फोर सिक्स प्लस टेन इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन बाई टू इज एट similarly we can write of next okay these are the class marks now coming to fi xi multiply fi and xi 4 4s 16 8 8s 64 12 2s 24 16 1s 16 5 20s 100 now add all this Summation f i x i is equal to ten twenty three nine eleven twelve and here it is one two twenty. So summation f i x i is two twenty. Then what about summation f i? Number of frequencies. Add all this is equal to eight plus four will be twelve fourteen fifteen twenty. Cancel zero zero cancels two eleven sir. Therefore, mean is equal to eleven. Okay, and in this you have one more or question. That is, find the mode for the following data, and you can see the table over there. Class interval frequency five to fifteen, fifteen to twenty five, twenty five to thirty five, thirty five to forty five, and your frequencies are. Four eight two five one. In order to calculate mode, observe the highest frequency. So where is the highest frequency? Yes, this is your highest frequency. So write the model class E is fifteen to twenty five. First, you need to write that statement and then start your problem. And now mark F not F one F two. And the lower limit in the model class is L, okay? And H is a class size. What is H? Twenty five minus fifteen. It will be ten, right? Now, what is the mode formula? L plus F one minus F naught by two F one minus F naught minus F two. Into h. Now substitute all these values. L value is fifteen. F one eight. F not four by two into eight minus four minus F two value is two. And your h class size is ten. Fifteen. Plus eight minus four is four by eight twos are sixteen minus four minus two will be minus six into ten. Fifteen plus four by sixteen minus six is ten into ten. So this ten, this ten will be cancelled. Fifteen plus four is nineteen. Therefore, the mode of the given data is nineteen. Okay. Mean value is eleven and mode value is nineteen. Twenty nine. A production yield per hectare of wheat of seventy five farms of a village is given in the following data. Draw a more than type O J. Production yield and number of farms given here. Fifty more than fifty, fifty five or more than fifty five up to eighty given. And this side cumulative frequency from seventy five, seventy, sixty five, fifty four, forty, twenty five, and twelve given here. So no need of disturbing this table as it is. You can plot on a graph sheet. Observe cumulative frequency. It is decreasing. So directly you can draw your more than type O J. Take a graph sheet. This is your x-axis, and here it is your y-axis. Now observe the scale. What you are going to take? Fifty more than fifty. That means up to fifty on x-axis. Compress your graph, 
and each one centimeter is equal to better take five units 60 65 70 75 80 85 that's it now next one on y axis you need scale up to 75 that means let me take here 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 better you can go with uh, 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units also you can take yeah wish so don't forget to write your scale on x axis 1 centimeter is equal to 5 units and on y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 10 units now when you start plotting your graph first coordinate 50 75 50 and you need one more here up to 80 so 75 means here you are going to get and next 55 70 here 60 65 uh here next 65 54 that means here 70 40 here 75 25 80 12 so observe here your more than type graph will be falling down like this and write the coordinates and write here more than type ogive okay with this you can complete this graph 30th one find the area of a triangle whose vertices are a minus 5 comma minus 1 b 3 comma minus 5 c 5 comma 2 this is your 30th problem we know area of a triangle formula right here area of a triangle a b c is equal to half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 right substitute now all these values before that mark this coordinates as x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x1 minus 5 y2 value is minus 5 y3 value is minus 2 plus x2 value is 3 y3 value is 2 minus of minus 1 plus x3 value is 5 y1 minus 1 minus y2 is again minus 5 okay half into minus 5 into minus 5 minus 2 will be minus 7 both are negative so add number and take the same sign plus 3 into minus into minus plus 2 plus 1 will be 3 plus 5 into minus into minus will be plus minus 1 plus 5 will be 4 minus 1 plus 5 will be 4 now half of minus 5 into minus 7 minus into minus will be plus 7 5s are 35 plus 3 3s are 9 5 4s are 20 that will be uh, 29 29 plus 35 will be 64 64 by 2 that is 32 is your answer that means area of a triangle abc is equal to 32 square units you need to end up your answer like this in this you have one more or question the vertices of a square are let me draw a square here a b c d diagonals a c and b d intersect at o 
the vertices of a square are a minus 1 comma minus 2 b 1 comma 0 c minus 1 comma 2 d minus 3 comma 0 a c and b d are diagonals intersect at a point o as shown in the figure find the length of diagonals length of diagonals and the coordinates of point of intersection of the diagonal so we need length of diagonal question mark and what is this intersection coordinate so square diagonals intersecting that means this will be the midpoint of the diagonal so first let me find midpoint um, midpoint of any diagonal you can take AC or BD. I will take AC. That is PX comma Y is equal to AC mark X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Minus 1 plus of minus 1 by 2 comma. Minus 2 plus of 2 by 2. Right? Now this will be minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 by 2 comma minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 by 2. This will be 1 minus 1 comma 0. What is the point of intersection of the two diagonals? This coordinate is minus 1 comma 0. And you have one more question in this. What is the length of the diagonal? Length of the diagonal needed. That means uh, use distance formula to find the length of the diagonal. Length of diagonal AC is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Already x1, y1, x2, y2 written. So directly substitute in this. x2 value is minus 1 minus x1 value is minus 1 whole square. Plus y2 value is 2 minus y1 value is minus 2 whole square. That will be minus into minus plus. Minus 1 plus 1 will be 0. 0 whole square is 0. Plus. Minus into minus plus. 2 plus 2 will be 4. 4 4 is 16. That implies root 16. Root 16 value is 4 units. What is the length of the diagonal? 4 units. 31st problem. In the figure, ABC is an equilateral triangle with sides 14 cm and area 49 root 3 cm square. P, Q and R are the midpoints of the sides of a triangle. If P, Q, Q, R and R, P are the arcs of a circle with centers B, C and A respectively, then find the area of the shaded region and its perimeter. Take root 3 is equal to 1.7. You can see the figure over there. ABC is an equilateral triangle. All sides are equal. Each side is 14 centimeter. And all angles will be equal. So what about the angle? Sum of three angles is equal to 180 degrees. So 3, 180 by 3, it will be 60 degree. So each angle will be 60 degree. And given area of a triangle, area of this equilateral triangle is 49 root 3 centimeter square. Use root 3 is equal to 1.7. In this problem, we need to find area of this shaded region and also perimeter of these three arcs. That means length of this arc plus this plus this you need to add up. That is nothing but the perimeter of the shaded region. So let's start with the first question in this. That is given data and all you can write area of shaded region. First frame the formula is equal to. How do we get this shaded region area? 
in area of equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle minus in this triangle area subtract three times these three sector area you should remove that means three times area of a sector equilateral triangle area already given in your question no need of finding that is 49 root 3 minus 3 times area of a sector formula is theta by 360 degree into pi r square that is 49 into root 3 value is 1.7 minus 3 into theta value is 60, 60 by 360 into 22 by 7 into what about radius? P is a midpoint, right? So full this side length is 14 centimeters, half of it is 7 centimeters is the radius of a sector. So in our place, write 7 into 7, 1, 7, 1, 7 cancel. And this will be 66, uh, 2 3s, uh, 2 11s. Uh, this 3, this 3 will be cancelled. 49 into 1.7, we need to multiply first. Uh, let me do here 49 into 1.7. 7 9s are 63, 7 4s are 28. Uh, 28 plus 6, 34. And this will be 49. 3, 13, 8, 83.3, 83.3 minus 7, 11, 77. In this you subtract 77, 3 minus 0 will be 3 and here 13 minus 7 it will be 6, 6.3 is your answer. 6.3 centimeter square is the area of the shaded region and we have another question in this that is perimeter perimeter of the shaded region is equal to that is three times three times what is this one length of the arc of a sector formula you apply and multiply by three that is three times Length of arc of a sector. Length of the arc of a sector. That will be 3 into theta by 360 into arc length. That is 2 pi r. 3 into 60 by 360 degree into 2 into 22 by 7 into 7. That is 66, uh, 2 3s, uh, 2 1s uh, and here 7, 7 cancel. This 3 multiple and this 3 will be cancel. So finally 22 centimeters is the perimeter of the shaded region. Okay, is this clear? 30 second problem. A motor boat, let us imagine a motor boat here. A motor boat whose speed is 11 km per hour in still water takes 2 hour 45 minutes to go 12 km upstream and then return downstream to the same spot. Find the speed of the stream. Here what is the problem? Understand the problem carefully. Speed of the boat given that is 11 km per hour. It has to go upstream and return downstream to the same spot it takes 2 hour 45 minutes to go up and come back and the distance is 12 kilometers so first we know that given speed of boat is equal to 11 kilometers per hour and let us imagine, let speed of the stream 
plus z equal to we need speed of stream also so that will be x kilometers per hour distance is equal to 12 kilometers time it takes to go and come back to the same spot 2 hours 45 minutes so we know the relation that is distance by speed is equal to time distance is 12 speed what we need to do here here the speed of the boat 11 upstream minus x we need to take 12 by downstream 11 plus x we need to add to go and come back we need to add here is equal to 2 hours 45 minutes 2 hours 45 minutes how will you write mixed fraction 45 by 60 that is 15 threes are 15 fours are now do LCM here 11 minus x into 11 plus x and here 11 minus x is there so multiply 11 plus x for the numerator 12 into 11 plus x plus 12 into 11 plus x already there so multiply 11 minus x here is equal to mixed fraction convert 4 2 are 8, 8 plus 3 11, 11 by 4. 12 11 are 132 plus 12 x plus 12 11 are 132 plus into minus minus 12 into x is 12 x by a minus b into a plus b formula. You can apply a square minus b square is equal to 11 by 4. And now plus 12x minus 12x will be cancelled 132 plus 132 will be 264 by 121 minus x square is equal to 11 by 4 now this one 264 cross multiply into 4 is equal to 11 into 121 minus x square okay now directly bring this 11 down 264 into 4 by 11 is equal to 121 minus x square 11 24 sir 264 then 24 4 sir it is 96 is equal to 121 minus x square this minus x square transpose this side and 96 this side 121 minus 96 if you subtract 121 minus 96 it will be 25 x square 25 x is equal to plus or minus root 25 that is x is equal to plus or minus 5 see so, here yes, speed of the stream cannot be negative therefore speed of the stream x is equal to 5 kilometers per hour okay understand carefully to go up stream and downstream it takes 2 hours 45 minutes so here yeah, upstream speed is 11 minus x downstream speed is 11 plus x distance is 12 kilometers okay write the relation carefully and then solve it therefore speed of the stream is 5 kilometers per hour in this we have one more or question the sum of the reciprocals of ages of a person in years, 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So, understand the problem carefully. We are talking here about the age of a person. 3 years before and 5 years from now. And the sum of the reciprocal of the ages. Okay, let's start the problem by assuming let the present age of a person be x years okay and now three years ago what will be his age three years 
ago his age will be x minus 3 and one more given what is that 5 years what is the age of him it will be x plus 5 present age is x years 3 years before x minus 3 years 5 years from now x plus 5 years age and given your problem the reciprocal of this reciprocal means 1 by the sum of the reciprocal of a person age 3 years ago that is 1 by x minus 3 and this is also reciprocal 5 years from now x plus 5 is what is the ratio given for you 1 by 3 find the present age means solve this you are going to get x value let's start and do LCM here x minus 3 into x plus 5 for this numerator multiply x plus 5 plus and here already x plus 5 there multiply x minus 3 here is equal to 1 by 3 x plus x will be 2x plus 5 minus 3 will be 2 into cross multiply 3 is equal to and this bring this side by multiplying x into x plus 5 minus 3 into x plus 5. Okay. 3 2s are 6x plus 6 is equal to x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15. 6x plus 6 is equal to x square 5x minus 3x will be plus 2x minus 15. And bring these two terms other side. x square minus 6x plus 2x. Bring this side minus 6 minus 15. That is x square minus 6x plus 2x will be minus 4x. Minus 6 minus 15 will be minus 21. Now factorize this one. x square minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. At a time exchange, no signs will be changed. Now 1 into minus 21 will be minus 21. Find the factors for this. 7 3s are 21. Minus 4 you should get. So take minus 7 plus 3 x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 equal to 0. Among these two x is common x minus 7 and among these two 3 is common x minus 7 equal to 0. x minus 7 into x plus 3 equal to 0. That is x minus 7 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0. x is equal to plus 7 or x is equal to minus 3. See here we are talking here about age. Age cannot be negative. Therefore, therefore the present age of a person is 7 years. That's it. 33rd one. In the given figure, you can see the figure here. BC parallel to PQ. AB is equal to 5 centimeters, PQ is equal to 2 centimeter and AP is equal to 2.5 centimeter. Find the length of BC. Also prove that what we need to prove area of triangle APQ by area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 4. We need to prove that. Before proving this, we should find missing side BC. If these two lines are parallel, immediately we remember basic proportionality theorem. Okay. By that, I can apply here corollary of BPT. What is that? AP by AB is equal to PQ by BC by corollary of BPT. 
I can write AP by AB is equal to PQ by BC. Substitute the values. AP value is 2.5. AB is 5. And PQ value is 2. BC value we don't know. Now BC cross multiply is equal to 2 into 5 by 2.5. BC is equal to 5 twos are 10. And remove this decimal bring it up 25. 25 fours are 100. That means BC is equal to 4 centimeters. We got BC length. Now what we need to prove area of this triangle by that triangle is 1 by 4. So first we need to prove the two triangles are similar. How can I prove this? Consider triangle. In triangle APQ and triangle ABC. APQ and triangle ABC. Angle PAQ. Angle A is common right? Write that one only. Angle BAC. This is a common angle. And next. And next you can see here the ratios are in proportion. What is that? AP by AB is equal to PQ by BC. That is equal to what? 1 by 2. How you can say? 2.5 by 5 is 1 by 2. PQ 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. Ratios are in proportion. Therefore, what I can say? The two triangles are similar. Triangle APQ is similar to triangle ABC. If they are similar, I can apply the theorem statement. What is that? If two triangles are similar, then the areas, then the ratio of their areas, ratio of their areas is equal to, is equal to ratio of their square of the corresponding sides. Ratio of the corresponding side APQ. Which side you are going to take? Let me take PQ. Any side you can take. AP also you can take. Here PQ and big triangle BC I am going to take. What is PQ? PQ value is 2. BC value is 4. 2 by 4 whole square. 2 twos are 4. 4 fours are 16. That will be 1 by 4. Therefore drag this down again. And finally, what I can say? Area of triangle APQ by area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 4. Hence, it is proved. Fifth main, answer the following questions. Each question carries 4 marks. 4 question will be there. 4 fours are 16 marks. And the numbering starts from 34. An arithmetic progression consists of 51 terms. That means number of terms. How many terms are there? 51 terms. N is equal to 51. The 20th term from the last term of this progression is 157. So this point is very important to understand. See here. Uh, your first term, second term like this. You will be having up to 51 terms. Right. From last to 20th term. Last to 20th term means you imagine in 51 terms you remove 20 terms it will be 31 right. So I don't have any use with 31 terms. So these are the 20 terms that means from here to 20th term means it is none other than A32. So you need to understand this point very carefully. Once again let me read. An arithmetic progression consists of 51 terms. The 20th term from the last term of this progression is 157. What is 20th term value is 157. 20th term means immediately you people will say 51 minus 20 that is 31. So A31 is 157. That is wrong. Be careful in doing this. So from last 20th term means A32. That is what 157 is given. 
okay next point if the common difference is common difference is denoted by the letter d d is equal to 5 then find the arithmetic progression so just write the general form of a32 or you can uh, substitute in formula also you can substitute a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d a 32 is equal to a plus 32 minus 1 into d value is 5 a 32 value is 157 is equal to a plus 31 into 5 157 is equal to a plus 155 a is equal to 157 minus 155 that is 2 what is a value 2 we know d value is 5 can't you find arithmetic progression find the arithmetic progression that means the arithmetic progression is a a plus d a plus 2d so on no need of finding from here Complete progression starting onwards you find. So even A2, A3 you can find that's enough. No need of thinking about A32, A33, A34. The question hint given only for this term. But progression means it starts from here. Okay. That is A value is 2. 2 plus 5. 2 plus 2 into 5. So on. Therefore the AP is 2, 7, 12 so on okay is this clear in this we have one more or question the sum of second and fourth terms of an arithmetic progression is 22 the sum of second and fourth term is 22 like this we need to split the point the sum of second and fourth term is 22 and the sum of first 11 terms sum of first 11 terms that is s11 is equal to 253 find the arithmetic progression if the last term of it is 67 what is the last term we don't know last term but last term let me write here as a n is equal to 67 then find the number of terms that means we need to calculate n value and arithmetic progression understand the problem carefully second term fourth term sum is 22 write it in general form a2 can be written as a plus d a4 can be written as a plus 3d is equal to 22 Add these two a plus a 2a plus 3d plus d 4d is equal to 22. Take out two common a plus 2d is equal to 22. Cancel two 11s. Mark this first equation. a plus 2d is equal to 11 is your first equation. Now sum of 11 terms is 253. Take SN formula. SN is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. N value is 11. 11 by 2 into 2A plus 11 minus 1 into D. S11 value is 253. And this 2 bring this side into 2 by 11 is equal to 2a plus 11 minus 1 is 10d. 11 2s are 22, 3 left, 33, 11 3s are right. That means 11 23 is 253. Now 23 into 2 it will be 46 is equal to here take out two common a plus 5d 
bring this two here and cancel what you are going to get 23 a plus 5d is equal to 23 mark the second equation first equation is a plus 2d equal to 11 second equation a plus 5d equal to 23 by elimination method solve these two a plus 5d is equal to 23 and a plus 2d is equal to 11 See both are having same value and same sign. So subtract the two equations and change sign. A minus A cancel. 5 minus 2D will be 3D. 23 minus 11 will be 12. D is equal to 12 by 3 that is D value is 4. Now this D value substitute in any one of the equation. Substitute D is equal to 4 in equation 1. A plus 2 into 4 is equal to 11. A plus 4 twos are 8 equal to 11. And this 8 is the other side. 11 minus 8 A is equal to 3. Now we know A value, D value. Can we find the arithmetic progression? Yes, we can find. So, therefore, arithmetic progression is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, so on. Substitute A and D value, and D value is 4. Substitute in this, 3 plus 2 into 4, so on. 3, 3 plus 4 will be 7, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, so on. Therefore, what is the arithmetic progression here? 3, 7, 11, so on. Is the problem complete? No. We have to know how many terms are there. And we know the last term value. That is 67. How many terms means n value we need to find? So, we know a n formula. What is a n formula? a plus n minus 1 into d. We know a n value last term means a n that is 67 and a value is 3 n minus 1 into d value is 4. 67 is equal to 3 plus 4 into n 4 n minus 4. 67 is equal to 3 minus 4 will be minus 1 that minus 1 bring this side. 67 plus 1 is equal to 4n. 68 is equal to 4n. That implies n is equal to 68 by 4. 4 1s are 4 7s are 28. Therefore, n is equal to 17. What is this 17? The last term is 67 means 17th term is 67 and there are 17 terms in a given arithmetic progression. Okay, is this clear? So understand carefully and solve this verbal problems and write the steps neatly in your exam. 35th one, find the solution of the given pair of linear equations by graphical method. 2x plus y is equal to 8 and x plus y is equal to 5. Solve these pair of linear equations in two variables by graphical method. So first, let us mark this, uh, rewrite again these two equations and write by given and mark this one, mark this two. Okay. Consider 2x plus y is equal to 8 or consider first equation also you can write. Now, rewrite this equation in the form of y. That is, y is equal to 8 minus 2x. Similarly, take another equation. x plus y is equal to 5. Write this one also in the form of y. y is equal to 5 minus x. Take a box of having 3 rows and Minimum 4 columns on either side. Okay. X, Y, 
x comma y x y x comma y so observe the equations carefully if you are getting the two lines are intersecting then that number is important in your table so roughly if you take any number graph you are going to get but may be or may not be intersecting the lines so if you need exact graph first solve the two equations in rough column and get x value let me solve the equations roughly here 2x plus y is equal to 8 and x plus y is equal to 5 by elimination method you solve children here uh, so let me do subtraction y minus y cancel 2x minus x is x 8 minus 5 is 3 that's it do this part in rough column so where does these two lines are going to intersect at 3 comma something you are going to get y value so first in box put in middle 3 now 3 before one number let me take 0 after 3 one number you take right and here also 3 before any number 3 after any number you can take any number you can take of your own choice now if x is equal to 0 what you are taking in your table that number you should take if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 8 minus 2 into 0 that is 8 minus 0 y is equal to 8 0 comma 8 similarly if x is equal to 3 y is equal to 8 minus same in x place you put this values 2 into 3 8 minus 6 that will be 2 3 comma 2 next if x is equal to 4 y is equal to 8 minus 2 into 4 8 minus 8 that will be 0 4 comma 0 right minimum 3 values enough and here also same manner if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 1 comma 4 and next one if x is equal to 3 y is equal to 5 minus 3 that is 2 your coordinate is 3 comma 2 and if x is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 minus 5 that will be 0 5 comma 0 like this you should make tables and uh, in rule sheet you have to do this and you have to end up with the two lines here what are the two lines therefore the two pair of linear equations in two variables or you can take directly equations therefore 2x plus y equal to 8 and x plus y equal to 5 are intersecting graphically at what is the coordinate it is intersecting by using graph you can answer or you can see the same coordinate what you have in both table 3 comma 2 are intersecting at 3 comma 2 where x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 right now let's move to the graph sheet rough graph i am doing here just take a graph sheet x y x dash y dash now take a scale observe x 0 3 4 1 3 5 so each one centimeter one unit you you are going to get graph easily 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 then y 8 2 0 4 2 0 there so highest number is 8 so here also same manner you can take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay and negative scale also you can take minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so on scale compulsory you have to write on x-axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit on y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit according to your scale, uh, scale adjustment you need to write there 
okay now plot this coordinate 0 comma 8 here and 3 comma 2 4 comma 0 so just roughly I am doing a graph like this you are going to get a line 0 comma 8 3 comma 2 4 comma 0 and what is this equation 2x plus y is equal to 8 one table is completed coming to another one 1 comma 4 that means here 3 comma 2 same point 5 comma 0 here so again draw this this is a line and now this one 1 comma 4 same coordinate and here it is 5 comma 0 and write line equation x plus y is equal to 5 still something is pending in your graph what is that the two lines are intersecting where they are intersecting at this point so take a perpendicular on x side and y axis side and write where it is perpendicular that is x is equal to 3 and here y is equal to 2 therefore the two lines are intersecting at the coordinate 3 comma 2 where x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 graphically is this clear 36th one prove that if in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio or proportion and hence the two triangles are similar this is a direct theorem from your triangles chapter 37th problem the lighthouse AB of height 10 root 3 meter stands vertically on a seashore. Observe the figure here. AB is a lighthouse of height 10 root 3 meter. A tower CE. You can see the tower here. CE. And a ship F. At F point there is a ship. This tower and ship are at a distance of 30 meters and 10 meters away from the foot of the lighthouse respectively. What did you understand by this point? There is a lighthouse AB of height 10 root 3 meters and there is a tower CE. Okay and a ship at F point F. These two ship and the foot of the tower are at a distance of 30 meter and 10 meter from the foot of a lighthouse. Next point. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower. Angle of elevation from top of a tower from the top of a lighthouse. This angle is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and distance between the top of a lighthouse to the top of a tower see from here to here that means a is equal to question mark to the top of a tower ae also find the angle of depression formed from the top of a lighthouse to the ship see they have given simply an empty arc don't be confused this is not the depression angle Depression angle always needed a horizontal line and a line of sight. This angle is angle of depression. So we need to find this distance and height of the tower and angle of depression. Understand the figure carefully. These two lines are parallel. And this distance is same with this distance. That is DC is equal to 10 root 3 meters. And this distance is 30 meter. Same distance I can write AD. 30 meter. Okay. So that one only you can write here. Uh, write this verbal problem with neatly statements children. I am doing here roughly. Next. Uh, AD is equal to BC. That is 30 meter. Okay. And now in right angle triangle eda or ade anything you can take here acute angle is there and this is adjacent side i need opposite side by using trigonometry which ratio we are going to get adjacent and opposite tan so let me take that tan
tan theta value is 30 degree opposite ad by adjacent ad tan 30 value is 1 by root 3 ed i don't know ad value is 30 ed is equal to 30 by root 3 that is 30 can be written as 10 into 3 root 3 you can cancel root 3 root 3 times it is 3 that will be 10 root 3 meters what is this ed is equal to 10 root 3 meters but we need height of the tower means ec so therefore ec is equal to ed plus dc 10 root 3 plus 10 root 3 take out root 3 common 10 plus 10 that is 20 root 3 meters is the height of the tower now we are going to find the distance between top of lighthouse to top of tower that is ae by using opposite hypotenuse you can take ratio or adjacent hypotenuse anything you can take so in right triangle eda uh, let me take cos ratio cos 30 degree is equal to adjacent ad by hypotenuse ae what is cos 30 value root 3 by 2 ad 30 ae we don't know we are going to calculate that ae is equal to 30 into 2 by root 3 now root 3 uh, 30 i can write it as 10 3 is uh, into 2 and you can cancel root 3 root 3 times that is 10 into 2 20 20 root 3 meters is the distance between the top of lighthouse and top of the tower therefore ae is equal to 20 root 3 meters and finally you need to find angle of depression how can i find angle of depression observe here this you can see as a rectangle right this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree by using these two if you are able to find this angle in 90 if you subtract this you are going to get the depression angle in many ways you can do this now let me consider in triangle right triangle a b f i know angle is here opposite i know adjacent i know that means take tan uh, so i don't know this right tan a i will write tan a is equal to opposite bf by adjacent ab tan a is equal to bf value is 10 ab value is 10 root 3 one sir that is 1 by root 3 you got so tan a is equal to 1 by root 3 in tan where do you get 1 by root 3 it is 30 degree so therefore a is equal to 30 degree now what is this angle a 30 degree now therefore if you want depression angle angle d a f if you want what i can say in angle d a b subtract in angle d a b subtract angle f a b see if you need this angle in 90 degree angle subtract this that is 90 degree minus angle f a b is 30 degree therefore this angle is 60 degree what is angle d a f children it is 60 degree this is none other than the depression angle is 60 degree okay understand problem carefully and solve this sixth main answer the following question in this we'll be having only one question that carries five marks 38 to 1 a wooden solid is made by mounting a right circular cone on a circular base of a cylinder as shown in the figure see you can see the figure over there there is a cylinder and a cone is mounted on a cylinder if the height of the solid is 45 centimeter what is the total height of the solid 45 centimeter height of the cone is 15 centimeter from here to there and diameter of the circular base is 16 centimeter 
then find the TSA and volume of the wooden solid. What we are going to calculate here? Total surface area of the solid and volume of the solid. Let's start writing with the given data here. Given height of the cone. Height of the cone is equal to height of the cone is equal to 15 centimeters and do we know radius of the cone yes see here uh, this radius you want cylinder diameter and cone diameter is same and cylinder radius and cone radius will be same that is diameter is 16 by 2 you do 8 centimeters is the radius of the cone and first let us find out the formula Total surface area of wooden solid is equal to. Here total surface area means don't uh, mislead to TSA formulas. Just understand the complete surface area you need. That means CSA of cone. What all you can see outside? CSA of a cone and CSA of a cylinder. And still something you can see. What is that? Base, circular base. Area of circular base of a cylinder. Okay, circular base or circle I am writing. Now for this, what is the formula? CSA of a cone. Pi R L plus CSA of a cylinder. 2 pi R H plus area of a circular base. Pi R square. Observe here children, in this figure, all the three radius are same. That is, area of a circle radius is same as radius of a cylinder and same as radius of a cone. So, R is same. I am not disturbing R, R1, R2, R3 also you can write. And here, do you know L? L I don't know. L is what? Slant height. And this H, I go for cylinder 2, uh, cone 1, I will give number. And let me take this height as H2. What is height of a cylinder? Total height of the solid is 45. In total height, you remove cone height. That is 45 minus 15. That will be 30 centimeters is the height of the cylinder. Okay. Same manner you write here. Height of the cylinder is equal to 30 centimeter and do we know slant height L here don't know question mark and radius of a cylinder same 8 centimeters right and this height let me mark it with H2 and this height let me mark it with H1 now first we are going to find slant height what is the slant height formula L is equal to square root of r square plus h square square root of what is radius 8 8 square plus height of a cone 15 whole square that will be 8 8s are 64 plus 15 15s are 225 if you add this you are going to get 289 289 square root is 17 centimeters Therefore, slant height is 17 centimeters. And now for TSA, this is the formula. For volume, another formula there. First, let us finish up TSA. And now among this, is there anything common? Yes. Pi R is common. So take out pi R common in all the three. L plus 2 H2 plus R. Pi value is 22 by 7. R value is 8. L, L value is 17. Plus 2 into H2 value is 30. Plus R, radius of a circular base, 8. And 22 into 8 will be 176 by 7 into 17 plus 32 is 60 plus 8. That will be 176 by 7 into uh, 77 
85. Now multiply these two 176 into 85. That will be 14960 by 7 you are going to get. Okay. Then again with this you divide this. Now divide this one. You are going to get 2, 1, 3, 7, point one four three so on you are going to get so you can end up here centimeter square therefore total surface area of the wooden solid is two one three seven point one four three centimeter square and now we need to find volume of this solid what is volume of the solid formula here volume of the solid is equal to what are the two solids you can see Volume of cylinder plus volume of cone. Write the formula. Volume of a cylinder. Pi R square H. Cylinder height I have taken H2, right? H2 I will write. And volume of a cone. 1 by 3 pi R square H1. Cone height H1, cylinder height H2. Now among these two, is there anything common? Pi R square is common. Take out H2 plus H1 by 3 will be left. Substitute 22 by 7 into R value is 888 so 64. H2 value is uh, 30 plus height of the cone is 15. 15 by 3. This is again 22 into 64 by 7 into 3 fives are 15. 30 plus 5, 35. Okay, 7 fives are 35. Now multiply all these 3. Uh, 5, 5 2 is 10, 1 10 into 64 you multiply. Multiply these 2, this will be... Uh, four zero seven zero four zero centimeter cube. Therefore, finally, volume of the solid is seven thousand forty centimeter cube. So this problem is for five marks. Carefully solve this problem. Therefore, total surface area of the solid is two one three seven point one four three centimeter square, and volume of the solid is seven zero four zero centimeter cube. With this, I am going to complete state level preparatory question paper of Mathematics for Karnataka State Board 2023-24. See, if you are going to check this playlist, you can see almost past annual papers, supplementary paper, model paper, preparatory papers, almost all the papers are solved in this way in a detailed manner. So, you can go through this playlist. And also, uh, how to get good marks, application questions are also available. Passing package is available and how to score easy 50 marks is also available in the channel. So do watch all the videos and rock your exams with a great result. Wish you all good luck children. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.